Hi, it's Dave here from Megapoints Controllers with a quick update on what we've been doing in engineering land. We're just uh, going through the final testing of this new board. And this board is capable of driving tortoise motors, any kind of stall motor really, whether it's a tortoise, uh, cobalt, Uhlenbrock, that sort of thing. And it'll drive up to half a dozen of these boards simply by connecting the the motor to one of the six pairs of terminals that are associated with the output. It can also drive Kato points motors as well. So for if you've got a Kato Unitrack, this will be the device. And the functionality of the board is changed through this little jumper here. At the moment it's in the STL or stall motor position. So if I connect this to an old style multi-panel and apply some power, what we'll see is the board dances through its test and if I press channel one, we should see the motor for channel one move. And there it goes, two, three, four, five, and six. Now what we do slightly differently here is we keep the power on for about five seconds to the stall motor. And after five seconds, it just relaxes it. And that's just, you know, a little bit greener, I suppose, a little bit more friendly on your, uh, your layout. Let's send them all back. So it's being controlled through our single network and this board would be on your baseboard in the vicinity of your stall motors ready to go let's move a pair so we should move these two there you go and that's how we operate a stall motor if i kill the power to the board for a second and just remove all of these um, i'll turn it into um, kato mode You can't be live engineering, hey? Screwdrivers at the ready, let's go. What I have done, of course, is turn the power off to this board so I don't accidentally short circuit something. That would be very bad. Here's a set of N-gauge Kato points. And uh, let's connect them. Doesn't matter which way round they go. Uh, I'll connect them to terminal one. Try and keep the wiring clean. Enter terminal one. And before I power this board up, what I'm going to do, well, let's get it in. What I'm going to do is set the jumper because it's only red when the board starts up. So I'll change the personality of the board now to drive Kato. So here's the jumper, pull it out, Put it onto the Kato side. Now if I power up, keep your eye on the solenoid. I don't know if you noticed, it already jumped into the position matching the control panel. So if I press the button, it goes one way. And if I release the button, then on my mimic panel, it moves the other way. And this will drive half a dozen Kato points as well. Let's just zoom in and you can have a closer look. So here's the board. This is uh, one of the engineering prototypes. So we've got the Kato stall motor indicator here. This is in the Kato position with the jumper here. This is the stall motor position here. Here's the six outputs. We can um, set the address range here, low or high, and we can teach it which address we want on our network. So we could, in theory, have 192 um, stall motors or Kato points attached to our network. Or as you probably know by now, if you mix up this board with the different types of boards, then you can have servos, solenoids, Kato points, and even tortoise motors all up on the same layout, if you were so inclined. Anyway, quick update, just to let you know what we're up to. Uh, you can look forward to an announcement on this probably early November. Uh, there are units out in the field being tested at the moment. So we'll just bring all that together, create the documentation, and uh, then you'll be able to read about it. Thanks for watching.